Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Today is Tuesday. Forty degrees. Today is Tuesday, the twenty second of June, and extremely warm. Welcome to my channel. How are you doing today? We are continuing our diamond painting. We're actually finishing this wonderful canvas. That's all that's left. Let me take a peek. Let's see what's under the each here. Yeah, quite a bit of confetti still. Um, you might hear a lot of um, ambulance going by. I do apologize. We are having a heat wave, which is extremely unusual for this country. And uh, a lot of people are not feeling well because of it. I am fine. I have ceiling fans going, no air conditioning. And the tepid showers come in handy. I was hoping that the uh, spa that has outdoor swimming pools in it also will open, but I haven't heard. So we're still waiting on that. Evidently, they made a lot of uh, upgrading and improvements. Sooner or later, they have to open. I mean, they cannot, uh, um, how should I say? They cannot bring in the laws, the monetary laws that um, keeping closed brings in I don't know you see a part of this uh, hot spring spa is run by the city the other part that is the indoor wellness uh, part is run by a KFT, which is, uh, you know, the same thing as a limited um, LTD corporation. Now, because the um, city did not want to spend more time upgrading and making improvements, what they did was plant beautiful flowers and trees, etc. That's why it is named Flora. Um, and then they decided that they want to change the pipes that bring the hot water. You know, this, this comes from the ground. It's natural hot spring mineral water coming from deep 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 inside the ground and then they mix it with cold water you know regular drinking water i presume um to make it the correct temperature prescribed by the doctors there is a um, pool inside where the um, hot spring pools are and then there are two hot springs pool outside and then there are swimming pools and baby pools and the usual thing outside so there's quite a lot of uh, pools out there now they changed um, the um, the thing that brings the water the hot water Oh, God. Anyway, 
they were bringing it from a different place. You know, the pipes. Now, they made such an improvement. Okay, this is upside down. So this, um, this has to be on the top. So they made such an improvement that um, the pipes now come from directly underneath the establishment. Did I explain it halfway confusingly? Totally confusingly. Mm -hmm. So now the hot water comes from underneath the pools rather than from a distance. Is that clearer? I really don't think you care, but anyway, I thought I'd explain. I thought it was rather interesting the first time I went in there, and I was like, oh, yeah, sure. I mean, you know, it's like sitting in a bathtub, blah, blah, blah. What's the big deal? Wow, folks. It is a big deal. And it does seriously improve um, the discomfort of arthritis, rheumatism, major surgery, there's some infections that have improved. Um, different mineral springs have different chemical um, things in them. And so they are uh, prescribed for different ailments which I didn't know, but now I know. So anyway, that is a huge, 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 major improvement, which I am sure also, it means that uh, the water will be hotter now, which means that they will have to mix it with more cold water, which makes it a little bit more expensive because drinking water is very expensive. And I was very surprised that they did not have uh, the fountain. We have outdoor uh, fountain in the um, the park that knows next door to us. And they usually turn on a fountain in the middle of the park, you know, where the benches are. I showed you that in a video. And um, the whole middle part is one big fountain and they turn it on so the kids can run in and out through the water, cool off. It also cools off the environment. And they also have what they call a steam um, gates, which is a very fine uh, mist. They're like mist gates. They go you know, across and you walk underneath and it cools the environment, cools you off. And of course, in the, um, the stations, the train stations, the bus stations, they have uh, people handing out uh, water, mineral water to drink. It's very important. But since we are not used to such high temperatures, many people, especially that have uh, existing medical conditions, um, they do have a strong reaction. And, um, so you might hear a whole bunch of uh, uh, <clears throat> a whole bunch of ambulances coming and going, folks. Um, we're supposed to have a cold front on Thursday, so that should uh, put things back in a normal. Um, we're getting hot African air. Well, yesterday it looked like we were going to have a doozy of a uh, thunderstorm. Well, nothing came of it. Everyone was hoping that um, it will give us a little relief. Because what happens is, with all the water and everything else going on, uh, the humidity is going up and up. And um, I was in Egypt where it was hot. But it was a different kind of hot, you know? It's a dry kind of hot. And when you have a high humidity with the heat, that's what gives the problems. I mean, I love summer. 
Give me a summer dress, flip flops, and I'm in heaven. This is a very heavy kind of a hat. And considering that May was a very cold month, and of course the fruit trees suffered, this is the kind of hat that ripens the fruit. So in that extent, it's good. Uh, majority of the swimming pools and the lakes, etc., are open. This city is being very problematic as far as opening that spa. Because people have vacation homes from different countries because they attend the spa every year for their health. So, and they're complaining about losing money. Um, I understand that uh, two of the pools on the inside are not finished, but they could still open the outside. I mean, that's where a majority of the families and the young people go. And, um, well, as far as the baby swimming is concerned, they have that on the indoor pool, and the temperature of the water is kept at 25 degrees centigrade for the babies to uh, have swimming. The uh, hot spring tubs, pools, are about 30 degrees. Or a little bit higher, you know, depends on. But they have outdoor hot spring pools also where you can sit where the snow is falling. <clears throat> yes, when it opens, it opens year round, you know. It's not restricted only to summer, just the outside of. Uh, you know, regular swimming pools are restricted to the summer uh, time, just like any other um, swimming pools. But the inside ones and the hot spring ones are open all year round. Now, this is the second summer that they're closed, so I mean, this is what I mean. Um, how are they planning to make up um, all that income that is lost? I know they're hiring, so the people that were working there probably went to get a different job. So now they have to train lifeguards and nurses and, uh, you know, because there are sick people attending there, they need uh, medical staff. And it is a complete wellness, you know, there's sauna and um, dentist and hairdresser and uh, cosmetics, you know, the usual thing that you find in a spa. Now, the restrictions were lifted as long as you have your card, it's like an ID card, you know, plastic card that says you are completely vaccinated. You can attend with no mask and no restrictions. Of course, you know, there is sanitizing um, things put out for your hands. And as usual, always was the case, you need to take a shower with a special um, soap provided you know, dispenser, shower gel, you must shower down before you enter the pools. I mean, you know, it's not a bathtub. You don't go take a bath in a hot spring pool just because it's warm. You must shower down before you go in there and you should shower down after you come out of the pools. So always very strict uh, rules always were um, used. So I don't, I really don't understand what the big hysteria is about. 
I mean, that's about the cleanest place that you can go to. And you must shower before you use the outside pools and you must use the foot bath also before you enter the pools. So extremely uh, careful about cleanliness. Didn't have to have a virus and have special, um, you know, ads on the TV about cleanliness. Anyone that's a regular visitor to these places knows exactly uh, what is expected. And there are people checking to make sure that you keep to the health regulations. It's important. Remember, there are sick people being prescribed these treatments by doctors. So it must be as sanitary as it would be, let's say, in a hospital. So I'm rather confused as to what's going on, but it's not for me to figure it out. Of course, there are other health spas, you know, that we can go to, but this is in our city. This is one of the reasons why we're here, mainly because Hobby works at a stupid job over here. Yeah, he was working second shift yesterday. Uh, they called him at eight o'clock this morning to go into work until five in the afternoon after coming home 11 o'clock at night yesterday. And I said, okay, then tomorrow you're gonna to be again on second shift? He goes, no, I have to go in for nine hours because um, our wonderful German um, co-owners are visiting. Actually, they came from the house for the hot spring spa that did not open, but anyway, blah, 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 you know. So they're here visiting, so they tell Hobby to go in there because he's the only one that knows how to work those uh, machines. I go, okay, well, are they paying you extra? Or, or what? You cannot do this, you know. Okay, once in a while, sure, you need to make a sacrifice. But I mean, this is getting to be a habit. And I wanted to go away for the weekend because it's my birthday on Sunday. So I wanted to go to my lake. And he goes, uh, they're still here from Germany and I have to go in to work. I said, no, you don't. No, you don't. You have to go for the weekend with your wife. That's what you have to do. He goes, what am I supposed to tell them? I said, well, <clears throat> there's a little word with two letters, N-O. It's no, yeah? That's what you should tell them. You don't pay me enough to drag me around whenever you feel like it, you know? I mean, that's the kind of job with his three diplomas, he can get one on every finger, you know? I have no idea why he insists on working there. Okay, fine, it was good while he was still studying. But now, you know, he needs to work on his uh, doctorate. And you can't work on that if you're constantly being dragged to this ridiculous job. I mean, he needs to publish. And et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I fool around in this place. I am so happy to see the end of this canvas. I don't think I have ever complained so much as I have with this, with this canvas.
I guess I'm used to at a much better pace as far as um, doing diamond painting. And the fact that I have about three over here ready to go, and I'm still working on this one because this is for a review. This needs to get done. I don't like it when I have to do. You know? Sure you know what I mean. I mean, this was giving me problems from the get-go. And here I am, almost finished, and it's a whole bunch of confetti. Make it make sense. Yes, it did turn out beautiful. It's a beautiful picture, beautiful flowers. You would think I was doing a two meter by a two meter over here as long as it took me. And it isn't actually. I think my room right now, let me see, 34 degrees. Yep. I'm not even going to guess what it is outside. Um, the other day we went grocery shopping and went from inside the house. And as soon as we stepped outside, it was like, whoa, you know, this heat wave hits you all of a sudden. It was like, I just came out of the shower and I have to go back in. The more I shower, the more I perspire. I wonder if that's normal. I suppose the shower opened up your pores and um, actually perspiring is good because it cools your body. Now you have to remember my windows face uh, Main Street and the sun hits it directly from five o'clock in the morning until nine o'clock at night. This is what I mean, so. The night was bearable, but then I'll be closed the windows, shut off the fans, and I was like, I'm gonna kill you. He goes, it's not hot. I go, okay, fine. You're a desert dweller. For you, it's not hot. For me, it's hot. Do not close the window again. He goes, but it's too noisy. All the cars are going by. I go, okay, put earplugs in. I don't care how you solve it, but I want air. So after about 15 minutes, he decided, yep, it is hot. Need to open windows. I go, thank you. First of all, it's not very healthy to wake me up when I'm sleeping because I tend to be grouchy. You know how you are when it's hot and you can't sleep and you're tired and you're hot and you're miserable and you're like, oh, is it morning yet? Well, congratulate me, I had something new to complain about, the weather. Seriously, I love summer. And usually that was my solution, is to be near some sort of a body of water. I know 
it's not going to stay around for that long. So, you know, we will survive through this heat wave. Rather unusual, but we are in no danger as far as health is concerned. Plenty of uh, cold mineral water, iced tea, and everything else in the refrigerator. I made a salad and fruit that's for dinner because nobody wants anything heavy and hot, you know, it's not good. I hope hubby brings uh, home a watermelon. I could really go for nice chilled watermelon. And the watermelon does have a lot of water, obviously, which is good as far as replacing, um, you know, fluids in your body. Is that all of the four cells? That's a threesome. Okay. Okay, doc. And then, because it's the last of the red flower, we're finished with those. So what do we have? We have a corner, a red corner. Must be this one. Yeah. So, we are getting to the finish. Minor miracle itself. Come on guys, line up. I tried to do a little more on the background yesterday, but then um, life got in the way. I do have a family. And um, I couldn't get any more done. So today I started cooking at around uh, 5 36 a.m. You know, I cooked some macaroni and eggs, so I am not using the, um, the stove at the hottest part of the uh, day. Yeah, little things like that, you know. It's only a couple of days, we'll, we'll survive. Hate to see what my water bill is going to be after all these showers. I guess it's not worse than uh, some people that are using the uh, air conditioning. What the electric bill is going to be. I don't like air conditioning that much. Even in Egypt, I didn't go um, under 25 degrees. Because um, the shock to your body when you're going from an air-conditioned room to about 45 degrees outside, it's not a healthy thing. Well, of course, in Egypt, you know, between 11 and 3 p.m., we didn't go out. And um, a lot of places were, like, closed. And they, did, they would open at 4 in the afternoon until, you know, midnight or what have you. And during the hottest part of the day, they were closed. I was yelling at hubby today. I go, why you have to wear a suit to work? I mean, you're going to die in that. Because, oh no, because they're having a visitors and we have to get dressed properly. Go, but you're not going to put a tie on also, are you? He goes, no. Go, okay. So I packed him two extra shirts and underwear. I said, uh, I know you're going to be sweating bullets, so let's just, you know, go and change, shower down. Get comfortable, change your clothes. 
about all you can do. Really, if they have a dress code, I think they should uh, have a dress allowance in their pay to buy um, what they want you to wear. No? Yeah. That's my opinion. I am so happy I bought these um, summer lightweight dresses. Very inexpensive. Quick to wash. You know, even if you go traveling, you can rinse them out. Very lightweight, so your luggage doesn't weigh, you know, 200 kilograms. I have discovered it's cooler to wear a dress than Bermudas and a t-shirt. Yep, took me all this time to discover that. Come to think of it, I still have some ice cream in the freezer. Well, the positive thing is I definitely don't have much of an appetite in the heat. <laughs> Lately, I have had a huge appetite. You know, I was like, oh, very unusual. So I can lose the one pound I gained back. Could be water because I've been drinking a lot. You know, because that's what you're supposed to do when it's hot. You know, they're, um, they're doing, how should I explain, mosquito, um, repellent outside but they're doing the ground ones now they did the air and they're doing the ground ones now which means the helicopter comes down real low in some places and in some places a truck comes and sprays um, to kill the mosquito eggs and what have you larva So they're doing that today, which means the playground is closed, but then in this hat, you're not going to take the kids to the playground, you know. They're doing it here and they're doing it in the village also, so there has been a lot of mosquitoes because I have bites all over. They call it mosquito control. They don't say they're going to kill the mosquitoes. They're going to control the mosquito population. I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? Give the mosquito no baby pill? I mean, like, okay. We're going to control the population. Good. Then they won't be drinking my blood anymore. So, have we finished the last red flower? Yippee! Oh, God. Lord, help me get through this. <laughs> I am not a quitter, folks. <laughs> nope. Excuse me. Usual. Now we need one of those. I said we need one of those. It was over here. It's a brown one. Okay.
we have a few of those right there. I will definitely analyze this uh, canvas. Why did it uh, take me such a long time? Besides the fact that you can't see the drills. It's really difficult to place diamonds when you can't see where you're supposed to place them. Now, how did you get over here? You don't belong there. Okay. We need some brown ones over here. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I think I'm about ready for shower number six today. Nice tepid one. I don't take cold showers because I find that I feel hotter after a cold shower than if I take a tepid one. Okay, right there and over there. And we got some up here. Okay, I saw a whole bunch before right there. three and then there's two there okay. I'll be discovered macaroni salad with mayonnaise whole bunch of veggies in it he likes it That's good because that's what you're having so I'm glad you like it now he's working so he's not going to be screaming and yelling into the video usual he just don't want us to ignore him you know he lets us know that he's here and oh good Unusual how quiet the traffic is. <coughs> I think they are all at the beach. School is finished, so the student um, commuting is not on anymore. There's quite a lot of schools in this city. They had, uh, they finished with their closing ceremonies, everything. That's so cute. When they finish with one school, you know, it's a little bit sad and a little bit sweet. You know, you congratulate them for achieving their goal and then they have to say goodbye to their teachers and their schoolmates and start a new school. Sort of a bittersweet. You know, then they usually have a big party and dinner and, you know, here they make a big celebration out of it. Even if they graduate, you know, from, um, from nursery school, they start at age three until age six and then they start regular school. 
They are the cutest little things. <clears throat> they have the little bag and they have a biscuit in there and, you know, they toddle all over the place and then they walk to the school where they're going to be going to, um, to elementary school and um, the first graders escort the little ones to their new classroom and they meet their teacher. It's real sweet. Of course, parents all sit teary-eyed and, oh, isn't it adorable? Thought, yeah, it's adorable. When you've seen about 200 of them, you're like, oh, yeah. Okay, I think we're done with that. And we're done with the red flower. Right on schedule. Thank you very much for spending time with me this afternoon. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. And if you're hot, stay cool. <laughs> Please hit the like and the subscribe button, and I will see you tomorrow afternoon. Bye. Bye-bye.